What is a domestic sewing machine? Now that isn't a question that I thought of until I heard somebody ask it. But when I heard it for the first time, I thought that is a really good question because the answer isn't totally obvious. So in some industries, in particular things like the automotive industry, the term domestic is used to be the opposite of foreign or imported. So a domestic car is a car that is manufactured or designed or in some way related to a company that is in your home country. And that's opposed to a car that's manufactured in another place and then brought into your country and sold. And so we have domestic products and foreign or imported products. But in a sewing machine, that's not what the term domestic means. In this instance, domestic is meant as the opposite of industrial. So this is a machine that is designed for use in your home. And so if we compare this to other appliances, this would be the same thing. We know there's a difference between domestic um, stoves and ovens, refrigerators, dishwashers, and industrial stoves, ovens, refrigerators, and dishwashers. And we can clearly understand the difference between those things. So my non-scientific way of distinguishing between sewing machines is to sort them based on their size, based on what they do, and based on what they look like. So industrial machines are often big and heavy, and sometimes they are built right into a table or a stand, and they are designed to be put in one spot and then not moved very often. They would stay there, and they're usually limited to just a few functions. They might have only a straight stitch or a straight and a simple zigzag stitch, but they don't have many, many different stitches on them. And also, they are designed totally for function. Uh, they are not usually um, pretty looking. They are just there to, as a workhorse to do a job. But if you go into a sewing machine dealer, they will probably sell domestic machines. And these are machines that you can lift and move from one place to another. So they're usually lighter and smaller. Um, and depending on what level of machine, they will have a lot more function. So even the basic level domestic machines will probably have multiple stitches on them, both for decorative stitching and for different functions um, for garment making or whatever you're going to do with it. And of course, a high-end sewing machine would have hundreds of different stitches and those can usually be further customized so you can get exactly what you're looking for. Sewing machines in shops usually come in different colors and some of them have fancy designs on them because manufacturers know that people like to buy things that are pretty and things that look nice. So of course, just like other appliances, it is not just totally binary, either domestic or industrial. It's more of a range or a scale. There are crossover machines that try and bridge the space between domestic and industrial. So if you are someone who does a lot of sewing and you're sewing every day for multiple hours a day, you want something that leans more towards the industrial side because you want a machine that can ha handle that amount of volume. So I have a sewing machine. It's a straight stitch only machine. So it's pretty heavy. It sews very fast and it only does one thing with no bells and whistles. So this is technically not an industrial machine, but it is kind of industrial adjacent. So for most people, what they're looking for is a domestic machine of some sort. The best way to choose a sewing machine is to go into a local dealer and they will have machines from all different price points and they'll be able to help you find what works best for you and they will also be able to offer support and service for that machine. 
If you don't have a local dealer, then the next best option is to talk to people that you know and they can give you personal recommendations and possibly even let you try their machines before you invest in your own. But the best sewing machine is going to be the one that works for you and that you are able to use easily. If you're looking for projects to do in a sewing machine, I have lots of tutorials and you can find those on my website, ebitastudio.com. Thank you.